First, take out of all items from the package. Package includes manual, monitor, camera, bracket, cigarette lighter, TPC power adapter, power cord, antenna, T-tax. Align the upper and lower parts of the bracket and snap them in. Pick up the monitor. Align the screw ring with the screw hole on the back of the monitor and screw it in. Align the bracket with the screw ring and snap it in and tighten the screw. The bracket can be flexibly adjusted in angle. Pull up the buckle. Tear off the protective film at the bottom. Place it on the dashboard or windshield and pull off the buckle. Mount one of the antennas on the monitor. Attach another antenna to the camera. Pick up the Type C power adapter. This wire is used to charge the camera. Pull off the rubber. There is a Type C socket inside. There is a power button for the camera on the left. Press the power button. The blue status light is on, and the camera is turned on. Press the power button again. The blue status light is off, and the camera is turned off. Connect one end of the power adapter to the camera. Insert the other end of the adapter into the socket above the cigarette lighter. Connect the other end of the cigarette lighter adapter to the monitor. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. The monitor lights up and shows no signal. Press the power button of the camera to turn on. In the power on state, the status light of the camera is red and flashing, indicating that it is charging. The image appears on the screen. The testing finished. Now disconnected all the wires. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. The monitor lights up and shows no signal. Press the power button of the camera to turn on. The image appear on the screen. There are five keys on the monitor, SEL key, guideline turn on off key, plus key, M key, minus key. Press the SEL key to switch to the CM2 channel. Press the SEL key again to switch to the split mode. Press the SEL key again to switch to the CM1 channel. Press the guideline key to turn on the guideline. When the H appear on the screen, Press the plus and minus key to adjust the height of the guideline. Press the guideline key when the W appear on the screen. Press the plus and minus key to adjust the width of the guideline. Press the guideline key when the M appear on the screen. Press the plus and minus key to move the guideline left or right. Press the guideline key again to turn off the guideline. Press the N key to enter the menu mode. The first icon is for pairing signal. When the product you received has an image, please do not pair the signal. Press the plus and minus key to switch to the picture. Press the SEL key to confirm. Press the SEL key again. The icon turns red. Press the plus and minus key to adjust the brightness. Press the SEL key to confirm. You can also adjust the contrast and saturation parameters. Press the M key to return to the previous interface. 
Press the plus and minus key to switch to the mirror flip. Press the SEL key to confirm. Press the plus and minus keys to select the mode you need. Press the SEL key to confirm. Press the plus and minus key to switch to the system. Press the SEL key to confirm. Press the SEL key again. The icon turns red. Press the plus and minus keys to select the language you need. Press the SEL key to confirm. Press the M key to quit the menu mode. This is an IR sensor. Cover the camera with your hand and hold the sensor with your finger. You can see the infrared light on. Press the SEL key to switch to the CM2 channel. Press the N key to enter the menu mode. Press the SEL key to enter the pairing countdown. Press the power button of the camera to turn on. An image appears on the screen, indicating a successful pairing. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-Taps T-Taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom. <laughs> 